Mid-career professionals looking to upskill in artificial intelligence-related fields will get more opportunities to do so. Well, tech giant Google is expanding the number of scholarships in its career certificates online courses, and it's actually offering some 3,000 more places on top of the initial 10,000 in fields like cybersecurity, data analytics, and IT support. Oh, that's right. Well, to ensure new industry talent, over a thousand full-time Nanyang Polytechnic students can access advanced training under Google Cloud. At a tech summit, Google also recognized organizations that use such tools to be more efficient. And speaking at the event, Communications and Information Minister Josephine Teo says that the partnership with Google, well, it is helping advance Singapore's AI adoption. It's one thing to say that you would like to see AI being deployed, you know, across many different sectors. It's quite another if you don't have the enterprise vehicles to make that happen, and it's next to impossible if you don't have the people to help make that uh, a reality. Well, Mrs. Cho also shared that the government will work with Google to conduct a second run of the firm's AI Trailblazers program. Now, this will help up to 150 more firms build AI solutions better and faster. Claudia Lim looks at how previous participants have benefited. Each day, countless letters and parcels go through this mail room, and it's Singapore's job to deliver it all to the right places quickly. The key is cutting down the number of steps in the process, such as deciphering the shipping documents of a parcel. A lot of those data are coming from many different formats, uh, diverse data sources, you know, paper form, basically sometimes even handwritten, unstructured. And if this step is not handled efficiently, it can bog down the entire system. To simplify and automate processes, the company developed its own AI solution. Information on physical documents are scanned and sorted digitally. Dangerous goods and high-value items can also be easily identified. These improvements have helped Singpost increase efficiency. What used to take maybe two or four hours to do every day is now can be done in 10 or 20 minutes. And it's not just the speed of it, but the accuracy of it is also increases. Singpost is among the first graduating batch of 43 organizations under Google's AI Trailblazers program. They used Google Cloud's tech tools to fix their problems. Step VR is another company that innovated using Google's help. The firm developed a website to help businesses on a lean budget build high-quality videos, all without the need to buy or learn complicated software. You can actually uh, to photo yourself, and then you have uh, a lip sync technology to uh, have the yourself talking in Thai or in different language. You change the background, you highlight the uh, features of your products, and you deliver a good morning message to your customer. So, in 30 seconds or, or, or 60 seconds, you can perfectly illustrate what you want to deliver. Such tech can help small companies cut down on time and the cost of producing a video by some 90%. Step VR is planning to expand its offerings to include a free version for consumers. And in an effort to support startups, Google is helping some 100 high potential AI firms build, commercialize, and market their solutions over the next three years. Well, the partnership with Enterprise Singapore will give selected startups mentorship and technical support. They'll also be getting opportunities to connect with potential investors and access to Google's tech tools. For more on how these announcements will benefit Singaporeans, we are joined in the studio by Caroline Yap. She is Global Managing Director of AI Business and Applied Engineering at Google Cloud, and she's here with us now. Ms. Yap, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming into the studios. Thank you for having me, Dawn and Natalie. So lots of interesting developments here with um, AI and, and with what Google is doing. Tell us how it's going to actually benefit Singaporeans. I will use the, the example from the you know, Nanyang Polytechnic's um, use case. They are one of the winners of the AI Trailblazers program, where they have identified one of the needs, which is for people to learn and not just reskill, but learn how to develop new courses faster. So, for example, it would take an average of two months for these courses to be developed. And now, with, especially with AI and 
changing things. Educators need a faster way to be able to do that. So they've managed to leverage generative AI to help shorten the cycle of developing these courses from months to just a matter of weeks. So it allows students you know, and also mid-career professionals to stay up to date with their skills a lot sooner than before, mm. which is competitive for Singaporeans. Yeah. So, Caroline, picking up that point about uh, mid-career professionals, I mean, it, it would seem almost daunting to be, you know, switching careers. I mm -hmm. mean, you know, when you are um, middle-aged and, and whatnot. So, actually, how does, how does your program actually, you know, help ease these professionals, you know, into a different profession? So one of the examples, also another trailblazer so when I'll give you is uh, Timus. And what Timus has managed to identify is a fast way to go through all of these resumes, right? There's so many people looking for jobs these days. And how do we start helping people also learn and become more talent development kind of you know, situation versus a talent acquisition situation? And so what Timus did was they used generative AI to be able to go through all these resumes quickly identify people who might be better skilled for certain projects than others, but also then develop programs to get those people who weren't necessarily you know, skilled to do the project or whatever to the next ones. And so this kind of removes the, the dauntingness of it, of wanting to reskill because every industry needs AI. And how can we actually help people understand what AI can do for them career-wise if we don't actually understand where they're also trying to go, what industries they're in? And so that's where we've seen a good partnership here is with even like the Ministry of Manpower is to identify where can AI actually help deliver value to the different industries as well as government sectors and then find how to develop those skills together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're learning a lot more about identifying, you know, who can you know sort of be best matched with Jobs. which which job with uh, you're also learning more about the, the being more efficient at doing that as well Correct. but how is google measuring the success once those matches have actually been made we're actually working with our clients you know in this case it would be teamers to to start tracking their metrics as well right so they will know okay we need to improve or help with the talent development of say 100 people how are they using our learning programs, whether it's the Google career certifications or the free generative AI training courses we've got to help them with developing their jobs to then get to, the, to developing their skills, sorry, and then getting jobs and how quickly can they hit the ground running. Right. So all those metrics are actually being built. And obviously internally at Google, we also upskill and train a lot of our own employees. So we have an idea of, of how to move people mid-career from say, our YouTube business into the cloud business, or vice versa, someone who's worked at Google Cloud and wants to go into YouTube, etc. So there's that flexibility there as well. Yes, mm -hmm. there is. Yeah. It's not as daunting as, as yeah. we first thought. You know, we we had a couple of the candidates who went through this career certification program. One of whom was a bio engineer, biotech engineer, mm -hmm. and he switched mid career and is now at um, SAP, for example. Mm -hmm. so, so there is hope for yeah. the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, sorry, he's, at, sorry, he's at Infosys. SAP was uh, for another another one of the candidates that we had, but he ended up going to Infosys. Right. There is hope. Yes. So AI, well, uh, this impression is it's sort of broad, right? I mean, we need AI to solve pretty much uh, all our problems, right? Whether it's it's climate or whether it's to do with um, engineering or construction and that sort of stuff. That sort of stuff. But what sort of real world challenges will these organisations that you're helping actually? Uh, a solve, you know, yeah. like once they're equipped with these skills. Can you just give us some examples? Yes. Um, I would like to, uh, to highlight, believe it or not, the construction industry. Um, myself, uh, Philip Moyer and Hamadou Dia, we're the three leaders of this global AI business. And over the last nine months, we have probably met with about a thousand customers as well as, you know, different government CEOs, etc. as well. The most surprising industry that we found is really active and wanting to adopt a lot of these Gen AI technologies is the construction business, which is why um, I want to talk about it. And especially with uh, um, one of our clients, you know, being Lendis, Lendis Digital, we, they launched their Podium platform. And the reason I bring that up is they're actually in partnership with uh, HDB, right? They're in partnership with, with uh, HDB and figuring out how quickly they can pick a plot of land with all the rules and regulations around that piece of land, what's the most effective and efficient way to design a building that would also include the retail opportunities, et cetera. And, and mm. they can go so much quicker just even knowing here are the four options now with Gen AI tools. Right. Right? Mm. So 
everyone along that entire value chain on personas from architects to designers to planners and, and city planners can do it so much so much more quickly so if you think about someone who's coming into the space now to be an architect the software is so much faster right the skills that they can develop are so much quicker than the old way of doing it where it was just learning AutoCAD and then trying to learn how to manipulate all of those things now with these generative AI tools it's a lot quicker to make these decisions mm. and also then learn the skills yeah the efficiencies that it's creating just so remarkable productivity gains yeah, yeah. Ms. Yap, thank you so much for coming to the studios and talking to us about uh, AI and all it uh, all of the wonderful opportunities that there are ahead thank and you for having me thank, thank you very you. much Caroline Yap there from Google Cloud. Mm -hmm.